They weld aluminum casing around the magnet, creating a tunnel in the center for the patient. The seams must be extremely tight because the tube will also contain the super cold liquid helium, which will make the magnet so incredibly powerful. Once the welds are complete, they cap the magnet and transfer it to a test chamber. They pump helium gas into the tube and activate a vacuum system that sucks out the air in the chamber. They now pump the liquid helium into the magnet. It's one of the coldest things on the planet and the fill nozzles turn frosty. Exposed to this extreme cold, the magnet loses all electrical resistance and becomes a superconductor, generating intense magnetic fields. A sensor confirms there are no leaks and the welds are tight. They now construct a second aluminum tube around the magnet. This will act as an insulating shield. A quench basically is a dramatic evacuation of helium in an MRI. There's a red button that is always in an MRI suite, and that's the quench button. And what that does is artificially heats up the magnet. As the temperature of the magnet goes up, that resistance is no longer at zero. The magnet keeps getting hotter, resistance gets greater until it becomes uh, unstable and it results in a sudden loss of helium. And there's actually two types of quenches. There could be a safety issue. Someone could get, could get stuck. Uh, sometimes that, that does happen uh, where you would have to literally quench the magnet. The other type is, is, a, is a planned quench. When you decommission a magnet, uh, when you're relocating a magnet, in some cases the magnet isn't needed anymore. Maybe it's an old magnet, maybe it's just gonna be going to scrap. In cases like that, uh, you would just literally do a planned quench where you would either quench you know, with, with a button or an engineer would physically go in and, and quench it. In that case, the helium would get vented. Sometimes quenches can just happen spontaneously, which is really frustrating. Uh, but it can be, there can be a leak. Uh, you know, some valves might, might not be tightened enough. Uh, that could cause a quench. Ice sometimes uh, uh, can form to the extent that it would, um, it would result in a quench. There is a situations where if there's a power outage, uh, it can cause the magnet's cooling system to stop working. And if it was allowed to, uh, to go unrepaired for enough time, then the helium level would, would decrease enough to the point that you're looking at, a, at, at the danger of a quench. A liquid helium-free MRI scanner. Now it doesn't actually get rid of the stuff altogether, it just outsources the job to a separate apparatus that cools the coils using much less liquid gas. A system with helium-free MR operations cannot run for 24 hours a day. Based on a sealed magnet, operates with only 7 liters of helium. This fraction of the usual amount of helium is placed in the magnet during manufacturing and then fully sealed enclosing the coolant for the rest of its lifetime. Also, no compromises are made on speed, patient comfort, staff comfort, and clinical confidence.